Yesterday, Namfisa launched the regulatory sandbox, and the deputy finance minister, she announced that an intergovernmental working group should be established to foster collaboration, innovation, to grow the financial technology sector in Namibia. Our friends from Kenya yesterday shared the success story how financial technology um, included over 90% of the population into the financial systems. This is really amazing. Um, but we also are busy in the natural resource management field and the inclusive urban development in different cities in Namibia. We are here since 1990. Our first office was open in 1994. Mm, and we like to collaborate. I think Floris mentioned that, hold hands. We really like that to collaborate with different donors international, Namibian ones, um, to, to avoid the silo approach and to help MSMEs to grow. And in, when I use MSMEs, I mean also innovators. Sorry for that. On the supply side, um, also as mentioned, we, we are more or less on the governmental side of. So we, we supporting governmental initiatives to improve access to finance for MSMEs. Uh, this is Probats 1. This project was commissioned by our federal ministry in Germany from April 2018 until the end of uh, 2020. It was a joint um, Namibian-German technical cooperation project together with the Ministry of Trade and Industrialization and the Ministry of Finance and Public Enterprises. Then we also worked with our friends from the Development Bank of Namibia on the credit guarantee scheme, on, let's say on the SME pillars from the financial sector strategy. Obviously, we are a follow-up project, it's ProBats 2. Um, we started this year in January and we are commissioned until the end of 2025. It's again a joint Namibian technical cooperation program, uh, project together with the Ministry of Finance and Public Enterprises.